and out, and then Jonas is shimmying. And... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all this underway, my guys. Boom wiggle for Jonas. <laughs> all right, we just need blank to be ready, and we are good. Next year, all shirts are backwards and upside down, says Vince. There you go. All right, we are ready. Let's get this all underway. There it is. The countdowns have started for both groups of players. Three, two, one, Tetris. Jonas, the legend, Bun Bun, Nib Nubs, Nubbins Goody, whatever you want to call him. He is a legend. Seven time winner of this event. Um, it's only, it's only two people have won this event twice, and he's won it three and a half times more than the other guy. So certainly a legend. And we have Blank on uh, the other side here, kind of recently converted Tapper was DAS player just a couple months ago, making his way into the tournament. Still, you know, in here in the loser's bracket now, just, you know, just information. Both of these matches you're going to see are loser's bracket matches, so that means they are elimination matches. Uh, on the bottom, uh, Jesper, Jesper from Sweden, uh, we have highest uh, qualifying DAS player with uh, three max outs, which is pretty good. Uh, probably more than he expected to do. And then red shirt. Who's the guy in a red shirt? <laughs> uh, up on top, Blank's in trouble. He's got, like, geez, a formation that he needs to burn through the middle with uh, in order to get back down. He's got it manageable. It, it's looking better now than it was a few seconds ago. Yeah, but still an odd formation there that he's going to have to clear this away. Yeah, and he's got the spire in the middle. He did a flip there. Yeah, he spins it. Not sure it. if that worked out the way he wanted it to, though. Yeah. Very dependent. Yeah. He didn't use the box. I think he was just trying to get some material in there for future burns on the right side. Yeah, give him some long bars, and it does. So yeah, he'll be able to burn a triple off there, maybe even a oh, Tetris. Oh, he set up for a Tetris. Tetris. Look at that. He, had, he, mm. he got lemons, he made lemonade. But that's going to cost him some on pace, and Jonas is going to take a lead now. 50,000 points, now 74,000 points, 188,000 to 114,000 for blank. And uh, Blank's still kind of in a dig. And meanwhile, on the bottom, we're pretty close. Jesper's got a spire in the middle. He's going to be burning that down for a bit. Uses some spins to kind of make it a little more manageable. And uh, the dog next door has no idea that the Classic Country's World Championships are going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesper playing really high, really dependent, really hoping for that long bar. Jeez. And he's going to have to use the... Yeah, I don't yeah, know if he's going to be able to get over that. Off and, and yeah, Richard, gonna... yeah, he's going to get a hard here. Yeah, Jesper just covering up the well just a bit too much and not able to burn back down and complete the dig. And Blank is still digging. As his rival would say, it's gone archaeological. <laughs> All right, we got it ready for red shirt. Just need one from Jesper here. We've got it. We'll count that one down. And uh, all right, we've got Jonas up top here, 307 in blank, 223. Jonas with another Tetris. Blank finally clean after all mm -hmm. that. Taking some time to get the dirt off. He's going to have to clean that left side and, and fill it in to open up the well on the right. Nothing dangerous yet, but once again, another Jonasism is that you can have a situation like that fester. Blank finally filling in those gaps. But dependent on J's and L's, just uh, waiting for them and not having them come. He's having to cover up those... Uh, the places that they would have fit. And it's resulting in a, a mess on top of a mess. And uh, Jonas has extended his lead. He's now 150,000 points ahead at 387,000 points. Blank at 244. Finally starting to dig back down, getting those L's and J's that he needs. And you can kind of see a sigh of relief there from Blank. Yeah, getting what he needs, and now he's clean. Tetris ready. Waiting for the long bar. There it is. 
boom, Tetris for blank. Out of the dig. Now 137,000 points behind with 275,000 points to Jonas's 414. And Jonas banging down another Tetris, maintaining that lead. Uh, meanwhile, on the bottom, both players are stacked up high. Jesper playing one off the field like we've seen him done in some other games. Uh, red shirt, uh, nice and clean now. 38,000 points ahead with 148,000 points. Bang down another Tetris now. 171,000 points to Tegamex. 133. And Blank with the overhang hanging that eyepiece. That's the second time he's done that. Yeah, I think, yeah, he's going to burn down that Tetris and then he's probably going to form a roof to burn off just to uh, make it clean again. Yeah, he's going to clear it away right now. Got a Tetris Doesn't... hiding underneath. Jesper again playing really high. I think he uh, probably didn't get something over onto the left that he wanted to. And he's in dig mode again. That will allow Redshirt to increase his lead. Redshirt's got Tetris a good spire in the middle there. And it's kind of piling up. Yeah, he's dependent on a... Okay, he gets a piece that he needed to clear that. Longbar is not coming when he needed it, but he gets another, and boom, Tetris for Redshirt, out of danger. 37,000 point lead. And a dirty Tetris for Jesper as well. Uh, uh, they've transitioned up top here. Jonas, uh, 590, blank 413. Both players yeah, clean, blank. blank a little high though, but gets that Tetris. Yeah, Blank's going to have to maintain the aggression now if he wants any hope of catching up. Jonas is playing a really solid game here. Um, Really high Tetris proportion. Level 21, 623,000 points. Blank at only 473. So about 150,000 point difference there. And Jesper and Redshirt both playing up fairly high as they, they're halfway to transition. And Jonas's field looking really good. Blank having to dig again. Taking a double there. Needing very peace dependent right now. Oh. It's great maneuvering from Blank to even just survive all this, but so tough. You wonder just how how many times he can do this. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a tough dig if he can survive it, but he's doing well so far. Whew. Got what he needed. Split double there. And after all this, wow. though, Jonas still with a 200,000 point lead. So even you survive this, he's actually set up for a Tetris here. Quick Super longer. dirty. Wow, that is just <laughs> the insane filth on display oh, look here. At Jonas here has got a spire in the middle. That log bar got hung up there. Jonas is going to top out at 706. So Blank actually has runway here. 33 lines to do it. He needs 164. Yeah, he looks over. He knows. And he's and almost wow. clean. Just like that. Almost as if he was waiting for the news that he's in a chase game turns on the fire, cleans up his playfield, Tetris ready, boom, Tetris for blank, now down by 122,000 points. Level 26, so he's, he's got to fit some perfection in there. Does it give it? Yes, boom, Tetris for blank. He is two and a half Tetrises away from catching up on level 27, so he's still got level 28 to go through. <gasps> oh! Didn't take the. Oh no! But he gets the board. Oh no! He's not able to get it over wow. the left. Wow! There was a Tetris he could take, but instead he opted to to move the line to the eye bar to the left instead, and it got hung. Yeah, Jonas dodges a bullet there because Blank really had a chance to chase that down. Yeah, there was really no reason for him to shift that long bar over to the left. I mean, he could have gotten a Tetris and and moved the entire field down four four lines and not taken that risk. So. Whew. Wow. All right, so Jonas is going to get the heart. Uh, once we get ready, we'll start that. But meanwhile, down at the bottom, we also have a match going here. So yeah. uh, Jesper at 447 on level 19. He's going to Tetris. 520 for Redshirt here on 20. Redshirt trying to weather a drought here. Bangs down a Tetris to take some pressure off. And Jesper's board is in better shape. Redshirt's going to have to... Dig just a little. He's going to build a well. No, he's going to fill in the left with that long bar. 
just for catching up just slightly at 506,000 points to red shirts 558. So about a Tetris and a half difference. Jesper, Jesper. He's going to get one of them back here. Red shirt not lighting up. Jesper opting for a triple there. It didn't give him a long bar anyway, so he's probably okay in that decision. Playing long bar flat, open for business again, but he's having to cover it up, opens it again. Boom, Tetris for Jesper, 24,000 points away. And Redshirt having to do some digging. This is Jesper's chance to catch up yeah. right here. Yeah, I feel like Jesper, if he can just stay clean and get you know some long bars at the right time, will take the lead. This is going to take some doing for Redshirt to clear down. Yeah, Jesper's in great shape right now. But still back by about a Tetris and a third or so. Yeah, he opted to take a triple there and lost some points, but he gets a Tetris after and jumps into the slight lead now. Neck and neck. Both at 618 and 621, respectively. Too close to call already. The red shirt is clean now, and he's going to Tetris back into the lead. Jesper ready and waiting. Bang, Tetris for Jesper. Yeah, it's close. Jo Jonas is bored right now. He's got a spire in the middle. So scary right now. And he's blocked on the right. Yeah, it's hard to fill on that left. Yeah. Uh... Get me cleared away. Red shirt back. And Jesper's trying to deal with playing so high here and doesn't get what he needs to fill that in. And Jesper's going to top out. Red shirt's going to take this one. Now now up two. And uh, Jonas bought his way out of that. Yeah, that was incredible digging and survival from Jonas. I, I, you know, I don't know how he did it, but I mean, well, he's Jonas. He's the seven-time world champ. Redshirt with the GG sign up by two now. Yeah, that was a really, really close match between Jesper and Redshirt there. They were just pushing each other right along. And Jesper did regain the lead just for a moment there. But Redshirt not letting up one bit. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, chat. Like, there's a lot of droughts going on in Jesper's side. And he had to uh, really work with what he had uh, the best he could. So up top here, Blank with a 95,000-point lead through about 50-some-odd lines and another Tetris. And Jonas was kind of burning for a bit, but he gets a Tetris of his own to match that one. Blanks are kind of a pile of uh, long bars over on the left. Yeah. Skewed uh... to the left. Yeah, just dumping everything to the left. Sometimes you just got to do that. Oh. Two forty-eight blank one seventy-nine for Jonas. Jonas uh, ahead about nine to ten lines in the future. That means Blank's got those lines in hand. And that's uh, that's just from Jonas being up so high early on. Yeah, Blank really developing a dig situation. Uh, he became dependent on certain pieces that just didn't show up, and it's uh, kind of snowballed. Okay. Burning in pieces from Blank here, and the game just feeding him all the pieces he can't use, and he's finally a triple Look there to take this down, out of danger. Oh, Jesper tops out! I, while I'm looking at that, and the Gat game's just getting underway on the bottom, and Jesper tops out at 102, and Redshirt is good! Redshirt, sweep. Redshirt with the quick sweep here, and he will be moving on to face the winner of the top match. That was, yeah, so early on. Didn't expect that. Um, Blank had some mist shifting going on there, and uh, yeah, that's that's a tough dig. He was just out of that dig, the last dig, and had to go right into another one. But it's giving him the pieces he needs, and he's gonna lay those flat, and uh, he'll burn a double. I'm surprised that Jonas is only 20k. Okay, now it's neck and neck. But yeah, Blank was digging for a good long while. Finally getting out of it. He's 
He had a dirty Tetris well set up, but opts to play it safe. Oh, Probably the right thing to do. Blank kind of in trouble. Everybody's going to burn this down. And, you know, it's uh, tough to see a magical run from Jesper run there. I think he really captivated a lot of people there. But so very impressive, Jesper. And congratulations for getting this far. For most of this game, he's been doing this this crazy dig. And he's finally out. Gonna get that long bar, hopefully. And there it is. Boom, Tetris for Blank. Finally, with that board in order. Um, but right there along with him is, I mean, Jonas is only, actually, it just uh, switched hands. Uh, Blank's in the lead now. Yeah. Uh, blank ahead by a few lines. Jonas has yet to transition, so it looks like Jonas will probably have the better transition pace. Blank's going to get that dirty Tetris down the center. Jonas up one game to none here in what is an elimination match. Ooh. That was some nice maneuvering by Jonas to keep that clean. Like, every movement there was not wasted. It was very efficient. Yeah, this is kind of a low-scoring, grindy game here for uh, level 20. You know, generally speaking, players want to be, you know, the high 500s, 600s by this point. So, blank in trouble. Again. Yeah, the super dependent setup there. Uh, he's shaking his head. Jonas is going to score another Tetris. And Blank doesn't get what he needs to move to the left and tops out. And Jonas is going to take this one. Now up by two. Yep, Jonas is good. You can go ahead and top out, sir. So, you know, Blank having to survive all that digging. Um, Yeah, surprisingly uh, low scoring game there, but yeah, both players having to dig most of that time. All right, as soon as we get uh, readies from these players, we will move on to game three of this best of five to determine who remains in this tournament. Just need readies there in Max Out Club. Yep, I think you just need a second to pat all that dirt off. Both of them are just completely soaked in, in the earth there. All right, let's try to do the double countdown here, Chris. Ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, Three, one. one. Tetris. Tetris. We did all right. I'll give, I'll give ourselves a B. Plus. <laughs> Blank, so, yeah. wants, if Blank wants to stay in this tournament, he's going to have to reverse sweep Jonas here. Not really uh, uh, an easy thing. And uh, Viva Albacete for Jonas scoring the first Tetris. They're even now. Blank firing back with one. Zero point differential for a moment. Blank with the line spin. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. He knows how to wake me up. Good adjustment from Blank. Make room for the next piece. Tetris. Neck and neck here. Early goings. Mm -hmm. And Jonas did give up a triple earlier. So he's ahead by a few lines. But uh, Jonas just seems to be really relaxed now, and he's got that flow going on. What we're seeing, though, is uh, players having to play uh, longer days than you'd normally see in the CTWC. So we might see different dynamics come out of that. Some people might get warmed up slower. That's right. There is a, a whole new dynamic. I mean, it's definitely a longer day. There's more Tetris than they can handle. Uh, <laughs> and... well, I really feel like Jonas, um, like some the other game in this match, the first one, uh, what felt different from from the earlier game in the day. So maybe he gets you know warmed up at a certain point, and you know we get to see you know he unleashes the beast, opens up that jacket. Yeah. All right, blank with the Tetris here to pull himself uh, basically even with Jonas. Neck and neck.
Jonas at 200,000, blank right behind at 176. Getting that long bar and evening it up, just like that. Zero point differential, even scores. That's what you get when you don't pull down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, neither uh, neither of these players known for pushing down blank, of course, hyper tapping, generally speaking, as a general tendency, hyper tappers don't uh, push down. Some do. Uh, and then Jonas, uh, kind of a, a, a kind of a radical advocate for not pushing down. He has a very definitive viewpoint on that. <laughs> Blank having to dig just a bit now. It's one of those situations that doesn't look dangerous at first, but he's going to need to get that taken care of. Whew. Oh, boy. He does open up the right side. That long bar is going to help so much right now to take pressure off his stack. He's still got work to do. Still so dangerous being up that high, barely getting that long bar over to the right. 299 for Jonas, 260 for Blank, basically tied in lines. And yeah, this uh, dig's gonna put Jonas into the lead now, 60,000 points, but 323,000 points to Blank's 266,000 points. Blank setting up for the dirty Tetris here, and he's gonna get it. Boom, dirty Tetris for Blank. And maybe some of these setups that we've seen, some of the risks that uh, we've been seeing from Blank are him trying to maximize, get those dirty Tetrises like that. They are impressive to see. He's got another one set up right there. And boom, another dirty Tetris for Blank. Can you imagine if there's a version of the game that gave you more points for a Tetris if you're higher up doing the Tetris? Oh, I haven't God. seen that yet. Oh, that might that. be interesting you know, mechanics. Blank would be the master of that version. Yeah, we'll get Enhance on the phone. <laughs> See their update for Tetris uh, Effect Connected. Well, the yeah, in, in Tetris Effect, when you... Um, go into the zone mode you know, you kind of almost make those tetrises at the very top of the screen that's what it feels like yeah yeah so blank almost uh burned his way down back and he, he will be burned back down but he's finds himself with a big deficit against jonas heading into the 19 transition 134,000 points behind jonas at 464 blank 331 i noticed that uh chat just said that uncle mike's really good at doing those tetrises up high so I haven't seen him play in competition yet, but that, that sounds like uh, something to look forward to. Seeing that in the silver bracket, will we? Um, I, I don't know. I think you had to be in the top 96, and I'm not sure if he made it. He, he was invited to sort of a, an exhibition event that happened last week here on... Oh, right. Yeah, I, I was part of that. <laughs> yeah, you were there in class. You were there, and I, I was, I was playing. And, and various <laughs> people were there, and they can check that out in the VODs here on Twitch. Yeah. Jonas's lead widening now, almost 200,000 points at 538,000 to Blank's 346,000. Blank transition now. Miss. Oh, he. I thought he missed shifted, but. I think it was kind of an adjustment here that it looked awkward to us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he could have seen that box and said, all right, I'll slide that bar box right in there. Yep. 567 for Jonas, 361 for Blank. Jonas going through a little bit of a mini drought, gets a long bar though, and bang Tetris for him, 595. Both players fighting to stay in the tournament. And Jonas has Blank on the ropes, but Blank still has time. This is not over by any means. Level I think up. Jonas has some really good momentum here. He's just stacking so well. Yep. Level 19 is about precision, execution, and not making that one false move because it's just one move and your entire game could be ruined. 680,000 points. Great pace there. I mean, wouldn't it be great to see Jonas get a max out in competition again? He's going to try here. Oh, Blank with trying to get a wall charger or trying to tuck that in a little too early. He needs something to the right side. Gets Hard. it. Gets it in. But look at that board. I mean, that is going to take a lot of effort and time and, and waste a lot of lines burning. Yeah, he's doing it. He is. Needs some good pieces at the start. Jonas still super clean here. 746 Jonas, 532 blank. Level 24. Another Tetris Jonas. 
Oh, and that's no. not going to be survivable. That's going to do it for blood. Blank, and Jonas will be moving yes. on. And later in the day, we're starting to see sweeps. We just had two. That's right. Well, congratulations to you, Blank. Uh, you did a great job to get as far as you did here. And hope to see you uh, in both competitions, live and online. So Jonas will be moving on. Um, and uh, let us go ahead. And what is his message? GG's. Backwards GG's, GGs here. We'll go ahead and take a look uh, at our bracket. Just to take a look here. Oh, wait. Jonas was going to do something. He's giving his... There, they got to do here. the virtual handshake. <laughs> That's right. Virtual handshake. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the virtual handshake is going to be the new thing. Oh, he's got the... Uh, well, we'll take a look because he's, he's got the jacket back. Let's take a look at the jacket. He's got the jacket. And Blank's jacket is off. Blank obviously disappointed here, but... Uh, uh, yeah, Jonas in his jacket is kind of what we need right now, so... All right, well, it's, <laughs> it does look like a virtual handshake, but he's just going to get yeah, a drink. Uh, All right. we've, we've got some frames where, you could, where we could uh, <laughs> just freeze it on that right frame, and, yeah, they're virtually handshaking. That's right. Okay, so... Uh, Hey, by the way, I think, you know, I think we there's something we really need to talk about here. Chris, you know what that thing is? Uh, Tetris Effect Connected. Um, absolutely. That's been on my mind for uh, ever since it's been announced. Yeah, people who are watching right now, I don't know if you've heard about this thing. Tetris Effect Connected is an all new multiplayer mode coming to the new Xbox Series X and S, and it will be also on Xbox One and PC through the Microsoft Store. Uh, it's all also coming to Game Pass once it launches. And just in case you're wondering, everybody who owns uh, Tetris Effect on PS4, Oculus Quest, or in the Epic Game Store, the update will be pushed to you for free next summer. Uh, you're gonna wanna go on to YouTube and check out A Game Scout. Just look up A Game Scout, just like it sounds. And he's got a video series explaining the new Tetris Effect multiplayer mode. Uh, it's actually on the CTWC YouTube channel. And the really cool feature that's going to be of interest to uh, classic Tetris fans is the multiplayer mode, mode called Classic Score Attack, which is actually based on the classic Nintendo, the game we're playing right here. It's based on those mechanics, the scoring. It should feel like as close as you possibly can get to an NES uh, on Tetris, uh, on uh, classic Tetris, uh, that you could that you can get. So that's Tetris Effect connected. Uh, 